Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trent Foreman, and today we want to welcome Ryan Sakel Surfboards to The Board Loft. Ryan is not with us today, but what we do have here are some of Ryan's finest boards. Uh, we first came in contact with Ryan Sakel at The Boardroom Show in Del Mar, California this past fall, and uh, Ryan was one of the shapers competing in the Icons of Foam Shape Off, honoring Pat Rawson, and uh, did really well in that. And also, Ryan won best in show with, uh, with an absolute masterpiece that he uh, conceptualized, shaped, and perfectly finished. It was a sting, uh, what Ryan called a sting duo. It was a little tip of the hat to Ben Ipa and the sting, although modernized and more high performance shortboard style. Uh, and then he equipped it with a duo fin setup. So it's called the sting duo. And uh, for those of you that have seen Neil Purchase Jr.'s duo twin fins, uh, center line set uh, vertical twin fins, uh, had that set up. And our own Jeffrey O'Neill is, uh, is now in uh, possession of that board. He just got back from Salina Cruz, Mexico, had some insane sessions on it. And uh, just an incredible, incredible board finished perfectly uh, by the guys at Moonlight Glassing with a really nice resin tint, gloss and polish, uh, like only those guys know how to do. Uh, best in show for design, uh, the finish, but uh, the thing that really put that board in the front was the overall uh, performance, that it was not only like a cool concept and it looked pretty, but also that it actually worked. Uh, Ryan had some great footage of himself surfing one, and then also we know firsthand uh, from Jeffrey that the board really performs as well. So why are we bringing uh, Ryan Sakel surfboards into the board loft at Real? The main reason is uh, just Ryan's focus on the design, on the quality, on the craftsmanship, and also just his heritage, his upbringing in, uh, he's a sec second generation board builder. His dad, uh, Ed Sakel, was also building surfboards and uh, well known all throughout California making surfboards. Ryan grew up competing and was a pro level surfer and also a, a sponsored pro surfer and started making uh, boards on his own at a very, very young age uh, in his early teens and has been making surfboards from then all the way through now. Most recently, uh, he's been working with Chris Christensen starting in 2014 through the current day. And also he is shaping and having all of his boards uh, finished at Moonlight Glassing. So that's a, a really nice thing to add to the overall package uh, with these boards is that they are glassed. They're, the airbrushing, the res any resin tints that are done on them, and then also the glassing is all done at um, Moonlight Glassing in California, one of the best known glass shops in the world. So let's take a look at uh, what boards we're carrying here at the store. We are carrying four different models here at the store. Uh, we all in stock on the rack, and then we're also custom ordering any board that Ryan makes for those of you that want to put in a custom order. So the first board we're going to take a look at is called the Lasso. Uh, the Lasso is Ryan's uh, two plus one mid-length, and there's a lot of uh, two plus one maneuver-based mid-lengths uh, coming out on the market right now. There's like We've been talking a lot about in our reviews that there's a spread of performance uh, in the mid lengths and you know, either from trimming and high lining and speed to more maneuver based. And you're, you're seeing a lot of these maneuver based and control based mid lengths come out with a two plus one fin setup. And this is Ryan's spin on that board. Uh, this board, the lasso has uh, a two plus one fin setup, single fin obviously mounted in the center. You can ride it as a single fin but also future side bites on it. We stock this board from 6'8 up to 7'6. And uh, this board you, it just has a really simple airbrush spray. And this is like the stock spray on it with different colors. And even like with the color palettes, like Ryan puts a lot of work into just the, uh, the aesthetics of the color palettes and having the whole thing flow through not only each model, but through his entire range of boards. So everything makes sense and everything goes well together. And uh, that's sprayed uh, at Moonlight by uh, Peter St. Pierre. A lot of you know him as Taped Off uh, on Instagram and just super simple and clean looking. This is a great uh, maneuver based mid length and uh, just something that really allows you to get good, good pivot off the tail, good speed down the line, early wave entry and uh, just a good all around performance. You look at the, the shape on this board, it's super smooth lines, like there's nothing 
that's jumping out at you. Um, just really smooth uh, characteristics on it, good performance, and just a really good all-around uh, maneuver-based single, uh, single fin or two plus one. And that's the lasso, and we're carrying this in 6.8 up to 7.6. Next board in the line that we're carrying here at Reel is the Sabre. Uh, the Sabre is the twin fin channel bottom, uh, fairly parallel outline, uh, a lot of there's a lot of twin pin channel bottom boards out on the market right now, and there's you know there and there's different lengths of them and kind of different spins on uh, you know on these boards and kind of what they're for. Um, this one can be ridden anywhere. You know Ryan's like the popular sizes. You know according to Ryan are six six and larger. Um, here we have this board uh, six six up to seven six. And looking at the board, um, I think the easiest thing to compare this to in, in boards that are already in our loft uh, is going to be um, Maurice Cole Twin Pen. And the, this board, compared to the Twin Pen, it's got a little bit more nose width, and then it carries that width a little bit further back. It's not actually that much wider. It's only like a quarter of an inch wider, but because it's got a wider nose and a little bit wider tail, overall that actually adds a good bit of width here and then all the way through the board back to the tail and that's going to give it a little bit more low end range and a little bit flatter surface uh, like flatter faced wave range uh, compared to the twin fin and it just makes it a little bit more of an all arounder it's not really that one is better than the other but this board is, I think if you're comparing it to the Maurice's it's more of a blend of the twin pin and the diamond twin together uh, into one board and so this board again twin fin on the bottom uh, channel bottom out the back. The other thing that's different about this board is where with the Maurice Cole twin pin, that board has a, is designed to be ridden with vertical fins, uh, those NVS Maurice Cole twin fins or like an MR style fin. This board is, is designed and the boxes are placed to be ridden with keel fins. So Ryan recommends uh, the Captain Finn, Chris Christensen keel to be ridden on this board, which is a moderate raked keel fin. And uh, that is what gives this board the best drive and the best uh, control and the best uh, down the line speed. Uh, there are people playing around with this board with more vertical MR style fins. And so if you're uh, surfing it in close out beach breaks or just something where you wanna get like more tight pivotal turns, uh, you can ride it with a more vertical fin, but the design and the placement of the boxes is uh, for the keel fin. And so that is the Sabre, again, 6.6 uh, six up to 7.6. And uh, also very similar, like a, a lot of you are following uh, Torin Martin and Morning of the Earth. This is, would be a really similar board to what he's riding, just Ryan's spin on it. And again, uh, all the airbrushes, uh, this is a stock airbrush on it, like a single color uh, panel deck like this, uh, like split panel. And uh, that's also, again, Peter's uh, artwork on there as well. Next board we're carrying stock on the rack is the Ryan Seiko Convoy. And so this board, um, when you look at it, it's got a lot of, obviously, uh, I would say the Christensen Nautilus when you look at this board. Um, and that's what we saw first. But also, if you flip over the bottom, you can see a lot of Campbell Brothers going on right there. So this board uh, is available as, the Convoy is available as a thruster, as a quad, and also as a bonzer, and uh, we chose to bring them in as bonzers because we really like the way that this board sets up as a bonzer. The, the bonzer fins, it's a, it's a bonzer three, meaning that it has, uh, like my convoy, I've got a 7.0 convoy, I've got a six and a half NVS uh, bonzer fin in the center, and then these glass on uh, bonzer side fins on it as well. Uh, there's, if you look on the Seikel site, there is, uh, it's, it'll say Convoy, it'll say Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega is the bottom shape. And Jeffrey will kind of zoom the camera in on here, and you'll be able to see that there's uh, actual, like, concave channels running from about here on the board right past the fin on both sides. And that drives water over the um, bonzer fins and just helps give the board more drive and uh, you know more speed down the line. And so this board, another difference I would say between this and the Nautilus is it has a small wing uh, right here. 
which kind of ties in with where the uh, bonzer fin is leaving the board. And so you get a little wing right here, and then it goes into a swallowtail in the back. And there's also some nice angles coming here off of that swallowtail. So again, this is called the Convoy. Uh, this board, we are carrying in the shop 6.6 six, uh, up to 7.2. And uh, pretty similar to like kind of what we carry most of the Nautilus in from Christensen. And uh, obviously it can be ordered smaller, like Ryan's making them like down into the five, like upper fives. And, uh, and it can be made more into the mid sevens as well. So that is the Ryan Seiko Convoy. This board is going to be great. Um, you know, anything that the Nautilus would work in um, and, and also bonzers, you know, like the bonzer just gives you a, a lot of drive and a lot of grip, like a super confident hold. And, um, you know, anything that's punchy, anything that's lined up, um, lined up points, this thing's just going to be unreal. Um, also, like it's a really good uh, board for barreling waves just because of the, the overall shape of the board, the paddling to be able to get in early and the, uh, the confident hold of the, uh, of the bonzer is going to be a great, uh, a great combination in, in that type of surf. It's not going to be your best board for like, like small, you know, mushy kind of junky waves. This is better like for when the, when the surf is really on. So that is the uh, Ryan Seiko Convoy. Last board we want to take a look at from Ryan Seiko is the Soapbox Derby. So the Soapbox Derby is uh, Ryan's spin on uh, the Super Fling. For those of you that don't know, Ryan was the co-designer of the Super Fling, and the, and the Fling was one of the most popular boards that Superbrand uh, put to the market. I would say the, uh, the Fling and the Pig Dog were the two boards that really performed best uh, for Super. And the thing that people really liked about the fling was, uh, was its ability to generate speed and, and go incredibly fast in like soft, like mushy surf. And, uh, and also like to not top out either, to have actually some good range like when sets came in or if it was like a better swell but a little bit slopey um, and still be able to hang in there and have good control. So. Um, Ryan now on his own has uh, basically the evo like multi-generation evolution of the fling and it's called the Soapbox Derby. And the way to uh, basically describe this board is that this is your kind of, if you're living in a, a place with slope air waves, this would be like your daily driver. It's also your uh, gravel board. I wouldn't put it like all the way at the bottom, bottom, bottom of the gravel, like a, uh, like a mini Simmons or a, or a bean bag or something like that. It's just one click above that, uh, but super performance oriented and uh, like nice refined rails and not too extreme um, in, any, in any sense of uh, like dimension or design so that it does have like a lot, a lot of range. Um, looking at the board, it's got you know, a little bit wider nose, flatter entry rocker, uh, a nice like full uh, diamond tail out the back with like a nice width and a, a really powerful tail block back here. But then when you look at the dimensions, it's a little bit, it's a little bit misleading because looking at the dimensions on this board, this is a 5.8 and it's uh, 5.8, 20 and a quarter, two and a half, uh, 31.9. So, you know, typically in these kind of like smaller wave boards, like 5.8, you're looking at like 21 and a half, 21 and a quarter, 21 and three quarters, uh, but this is like 20 and a quarter. So it's actually quite a bit narrower. And that was one of the things uh, with those flings that made them uh, more performance oriented is like when you got them going down the, down the line, they were super easy to generate speed because they weren't too wide and you could really uh, get them going back and forth uh, rail to rail. So this is the evolution of that board. And um, you know, obviously, as you go from year to year to year, they keep getting better, and that is the Soapbox Derby from Ryan Seikel. Um, that covers the four boards that we have here in the shop. Uh, we are doing custom orders on any of these models, as well as any model that, uh, that Ryan makes. If anybody out there has any questions about Ryan Seikel surfboards or would like to place an order, you can always reach us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.